Uh, hello, Tony here from Lightwave Digital. And in this tutorial, we're going to look at how to make a simulation of lots of leaves uh, falling to the ground and then sticking to the ground. Uh, so in, with this, uh, I'll provide this end example. It's, I wouldn't say it's a finished article, but this what I'm going to show you will get you started on experimenting with this. So this is like a particle emitter using instancing to attach the leaves with two different wind generators and a collision for the ground on a displaced ground. So I'll go through it and then show you how to go around this. I'll give you a start scene and I'll give you the final scene. So let's get started. So I'll load in uh, the start scene and what I'll do is explain it. So in the scene there's not actually a lot. There's a ground plane which has got a very small kind of displacement on it so it's not completely flat so you can see they'll, they'll, the leaves will land at angles and stuff on it. We've got a leaf so if I show you the leaf now originally I was using uh, just a one poly with uh, a clip mask for the leaf but what I've done is I've just gone and got uh, an EPS of a leaf and then brought it in and then UV that same texture or, or EPS onto it so you've got a, a real leaf rather than just using uh, a clip map but you can use a clip map if you want but uh, anyway and then I've got the ground I've just got a basic environment light distant light uh, and then the camera. We're going to start by adding our admitter. So under the item tab, let's go to dynamic object and particles. Uh, let's call it uh, leaves. Okay, let's bring it up in the air. So far, I mean, I've been up about five, six meters. Uh, you can decide on how far you want it to go. And let's go through the settings. So for the birth rate, I'm going to have it at 10. But rather than seconds, I'm going to have frames. So every frame, it's going to create 10 particles. So I'm kind of going a little bit overkill with this because maybe you don't get this many leaves falling, but I just want to go overkill to show you how it uh, it works rather than waiting for one or two leaves to drop in at the ground. Uh, nozzle, go to box. We don't want any change. Uh, the size will make it similar to the ground. Let's, well, let's do it 25 by 100 millimeter by 25 which is it's not quite the same but you can see here and for particle limit i'm just going to bag bang three more noughts on so we don't run out of particles uh, i don't need to start it at a certain frame if you if you wanted it to start on frame 100 you could click fix and get to start them i need the particles to be a lot lighter than the, they are so for the weight i'm going to switch this round to 0 0.1 and everything else will leave. We'll go for resistance. We'll put it 0 0.5, give it a bit of resistance. And for its lifespan, I'm going to tell it not to die. So it means uh, otherwise the particle is going to live and die over 60 frames and it won't land and you'll not see it. So I'm just going to tell it to live kind of forever. For motion, we'll leave everything. We'll give it a bit of explosion. So it'll give it a bit of movement and then a bit of uh, vibration, maybe 2% for the etc we're just going to put in the earth's gravity in the y which is minus 9.8 uh, rotation we're going to switch to random rotation and scale and then everything else will leave so let's just have a look what that looks like okay so we've got this kind of effect when we it's still i'd say a little bit faster than the one but when we've had the wind to it and it's affecting it it will slow them down a little bit and currently i've got about 300 frames but we can extend that to about 600 later on so we've done that but what we need to do now is add the leaf to each one of these particles so what we'll do is while the emitter is selected we'll go to properties and then we'll go along to instancing and from add instancing we're going to add instance generator double click it and let's add the object which is the leaf object there we go and then with the little eyes let's just tell it so we can see them and you'll see it's quite big actually i could have before this i've done this gone back into modeler and also it's sticking that it's kind of going up through the wire i wanted it flat but well, that's because I've modelled it that way in 
modeler but i'll just change it in here but i could have made it small and rotated it modeler before i did this but we'll stick with this uh for the actual type obviously it's particles uh, that we want it to go to now there's not that many here so let's just jump forward in time so we can see them all now the scale is bigger like i said but well, let's just change it in here we'll go uh 10 by 20 let's say and you can change this so you can see the kind of size uh, again maybe 25 it's up to you you can decide on that and again random the stretch if you want uh, the the sizes to be kind of various like stretched for various ways you can see randomly stretched you can uh, same with the other ones uh, and again with the offset for the rotation uh, we're gonna change the actual random let's just tell it to be uniform because I need these to be rotated now because I haven't gone back into modeler so let's just rotate them 90 degrees so they are facing the right way which to be honest i probably should have went back in the model and sorted it first but we'll do we'll go with this okay so now what we've got is we we should have uh yeah all the leaves random sizes you can random if you want to you can play around with the rotation maybe animate the rotation in the animation envelopes as well if you want to uh, i'm not going to do it at this stage uh, and let's say i'm happy with that so we've got all these leaves and just constantly falling like so let's zoom out a bit so now what we need to do is i don't want them just to be falling i want them to be kind of moving randomly around and so we're going to need some wind to kind of do that so what we'll do is uh we'll go to the item tab dynamic object and let's add wind and let's call this uh I don't know, random. The reason I'm calling it random is because when the wind effects come up, from the directional mode, we're going to use random. So it's kind of a random wind effect. Uh, radius, let's make it, what was it? Let's make it about 25, which is similar to uh, what the land was. And the power, we're going to bang it up to about 1,200. Also, what I'm going to do, while we're in frame zero, is I'm going to pull this up above the ground level like this because when i get it to the leaves to land and stick to the ground and i'm going to tell it when we use the collision object to to try and stick and not move it will move if the wind's still going into the ground it will affect it because it's, it's wind obviously and i know what we'll do is try and do it so at least we've got a few leaves knocking around that's moving because when leaves do if they've got lots of leaves falling some of them do move around but we'll see how we get on with that so like i said this one's random and everything else it's just 25 and let's say uh, 1200 so when we've done that uh, depending on how fast your computer is and you can see they're moving all over the shop a minute it auto generates kind of it but if your computer is slow or it's not giving you the right result and sometimes i do it just because i do <laughs> i suppose is you could go into the effects and click calculate and what this is going to do it gives you a better calculation of this so it's just a matter of waiting and you can see in your top view the kind of because it's a random wind the moving side to side as they're falling as well and the higher that is the more side to side and erratically, erratically they all move around so like i said yeah you just maybe need to uh calculate it sometimes i've got a habit of doing it anyway because i think it gives you a slightly better more realistic result so as like so i think the other thing i'd like to do is what i did in the one is add another wind generator but get it to move like sliding like it's got like a rotational bit of wind on it so what we'll do is go to item object wind let's call it a uh, rotor and we've got another wind generator this time let's make it rotational let's make it what is it about let's make it 20 let's make sure we're in zero let's bring it up above that ground level again uh i'm not gonna make any if we if you change the spiral basically what that's going to do it is going to rotate it but it's going to rotate it into a funnel a bit like if you're having a tornado i'll show you in a second of it but let's say we just rotate it 20 and we leave it at 20 and it's oh, it the power's quite high that's going to make it spin a lot let's put it right down to say 20 
And then let me just see if it will calculate. And the best way to see if it's calculating is look in the top view. And if you see, they do look like the rotating look with 20. So we're not only getting the erratic wind, we're getting the rotation of the wind as well. So the leaves are erratic, erratically falling, but also they're, they're being dragged by a, a kind of rotational wind as well. Uh, but again, you can play with this and the settings as well. Now, if I decided to make a spiral, so let's just put 50 in here, click in field to see if it'll calculate quicker. You will see it's bringing them down and in downwards. And it's here in the side view, you can see uh, it's actually bringing them like a tornado it's coming down and down and down and so and you can make it stronger and spiral faster so you could maybe put in say because this is each one of these calc uh, little numerical boxes are calculated so i could type in here 10 times 360 and it will generate that going around quite fast as well if you want uh into and again if i had collision on it would pile the leaves up in a pile going upwards but again that's something if you want to play with, but I don't really want that on. I just want it to, like I said, affect the leaves rotationally a little bit, like so. So, kind of last thing I need to do is I need to stick to the ground. So, we'll select the ground. We're out of properties. So, this time I'm not going over here to make a ground, a collision point. I'm going to add a collision point to the ground. So, when on the effects tab, go to add and click on collision. Double click it. And you come up with this settings. So if we go down the type, now the type the ground is a flat plane that I've subdivided and subpacked. So I'm going to tell it to be object subdivision. So it picks up them subdivision, so it get the bumps a bit better. Uh, the radius is when the when the leaves land, how far above that that collision point you want it. So I like to add a little bit to it, so it's not actually sinking in the ground. So let's say we'll start with 50 mil. The bow, I don't want any kind of bounce, it's not balls or anything. And for friction, fix, and roughness, I want to put them all to 100 to try and hopefully help them stick to the ground and then no shift because I don't want them to shift. If they move around, it's because the wind's still close to the ground and it will affect some of them still. But let's just see what that does. Let's calculate it. So the dropping down, you've just got to see. And you can see. The kind of dropping and we're going on and on and on and there's quite a few still going through so basically we need to if you want to abort this any times you can so what we've got to do is we've got to tweak these settings and see what we can do let's just calculate it through and also uh, you can move this up to say uh, if you want you can move it up uh, higher it, it's kind of up to you uh, now the reason it's going through is because I haven't changed one thing and that's the mode so I've telling it to bounce but it's not what I want it to do is I want it to stick I don't want it to erase I don't want it to scatter around or attract just one thing I just want them to stick to the ground so that's why it were going through so let's calculate and hopefully they should just stick now so as you look around here you should see and they should look, look they're just sticking to the ground like so so uh, yeah I mean we're just about there with it all I mean based on the original scene but again I did say it's not quite the finished article but using this is the kind of the technique to get you kind of started I mean if I just turn a VPR and I can say I haven't thought much about the text just to make it look pretty or whatever I've just used it to kind of do this tutorial but again you can come in here and as you can see some are stuck to the ground some are nearly hit the ground some are floating up around here play around with the settings see what you kind of come up with and stuff uh go on to a uh, the lightway salvation uh facebook group post what you've done i would like to see what you've done and any comments just place below so i think what i'll do is uh i'll leave it there and hopefully there's enough here for you to have a go i mean like i said before you can use this for this technique for maybe 
imagine loads of paper being f- ripped apart and chucked in the air or leaflets being floated down or if you want snow piling up on the ground and lots of other uh, like scenarios that you can use it for so thanks for listening